Welcome back to Sawyer Ridge Farm. I'm Jacob. So today I'm going to be talking about, we got a lot of comments when we did the video about this uh, water tote. We got a lot of comments about they wanted to know how we made the spigots on to, you know, attach the hose. And I'm actually going to show you a, a kind of a variety of attachments you can kind of use depending on your price range. But I'm going to show you why we're going to put them on there. And another thing with this, the thing you got, if you have these, you have to look at what your nozzle looks like. So come down here real quick. For me, I'm pretty lucky. This nozzle for this tote, it's got the grooves and everything. And so I can just use a, a two inch and just have the, uh, the grooves. So I can just screw it on. Um, some, there are so many variety of these type of totes. You just have to see what type of nozzle you have. This setup that I'm about to use may not be the same that you have, but you can go online and you just have to figure out what, you know, kind of head you have. And they have special, just a quick attachments that stick on there and clamp. And then you can, it gives you those grooves so you can kind of make what I'm doing. You just kind of got to buy an extra piece. But there are so many variety of these totes. Just kind of find out which one you got. And then they have an attachment for it. Um, I just kind of got lucky and, and got this, you know, the grooves already in uh, this one. So the ones that uh, I have here are going to be, this is the one that I'm going to be using. It's a, it's a ball valve. This one's a little bit more expensive to make, but I'll tell you exactly why I'm going this way instead of the other ways. Okay. Um, this is the one I first made. It's a little bit cheaper than this one. But I'll tell you why I don't really necessarily like this one in aspect. And I'll show you exactly why we're putting these on here in the first place. Okay. So you can see right here, you want, if you have these, try to elevate them up. It's going to be a lot easier. Like right now, it's hard, you know, sometimes to get a bucket in here. And that's one of the reasons why it's good to have a hose if you can't elevate it enough. So right here, I'll just show you why we're sticking this on here. So you got your nozzle right here. And when you open this up... It shoots out a lot okay and if you got a little water can or something like that and you're trying to you can almost take a shower just trying to fill up something so we want something more confined where we can control it better okay so the first thing I did was I made this one and again I'll show you exactly how I make this I just want to show you why we're making these this one just uh, just spins on here Okay, I turn it on. You see, that's not too bad. All right, so as you can see right here, the water's coming out. It's pretty good. I mean, this is full. This tote is completely full. So it's got a good amount of kind of pressure pushing this thing out. But when it starts getting lower and lower, it... It gets a little bit less at this point with this type of spigot, and I and I will explain exactly all why. Uh, kind of not to go with this, and the reason why it's not as good as this one's gonna be. All right, so we got the ball valve one on here. And you saw what the spigot kind of looked like. It had pretty good pressure. I'm not going to say it's not bad. But you'll see with this one, I mean, it just it shoots out of there. Pretty much almost the same thing as uh, without the valve. But it's going to be more confined. Now, we can stick a hose on here. When I stick this hose on, so now, when I turn this on, You can tell that it works a lot. There's a lot more coming out, and it's a better flow. I mean, this looks like a regular garden hose, and it's not pressured at all. all right, so we got this thing uh, hooked up. We got a 100-foot hose going up to the tote, and we're down here in our garden. Now, this is a gravity-fed system, and I'm just trying to show you that I think it works pretty good. Um, and it's not that far, you know, d difference of an angle. The higher you are, the more pressure you're going to get. So, uh, Alex, just kind of show, just 
pan over. The tote's behind the shop right now, so yeah. So this I is mean, a hundred foot hose. Hundred foot hose. It's not you know a dramatic drop, but it's, it is a drop. And so when you have this, what we do is hook this up, let the water fill up, kind of get it full all the way up. Just wait a little bit, and then. And this is kind of the pressure it has. This has no pressure, you know, this is not a pumped or anything. It may, it's not as good as, you know, an actual hose pressure, but for just being gravity fed, it, I think this works really good, especially when we start catching rainwater with it. Then, I mean, it's just free water. You can come out here and water the whole garden with rainwater. And I mean, you can see it's pretty good pressure for just being for where it's at if we wanted it more I mean, we got a big hill i mean we could go all the way to the top and stick them up there and catch rainwater, and it would probably gush out of here pretty good okay so we're gonna get into making uh how to make these now as you can see the difference between the pressures now you know this one you know it's not bad you know you, you can use this this is a little bit of a cheaper route um i think altogether this piece right here at least for us here in Oklahoma, I think this was about six dollars for this spigot, and then I think it's about probably about eleven dollars setup right here for this one. This one right here with a ball valve, this is about I think it was about twenty five dollars, so it's a little bit more. And I'll tell you why. I know it's a little bit probably expensive, but why I want to go with this one instead of this one. The main reason is the pressure. It does do more pressure for you know what you're getting it it just it's going to flow more it's going to be better if it's not you know as elevated and you're just going to get more and a lot of things with gravity fed systems the main key if you're if you don't even want to do this type of thing the, the main thing is, is you want big holes the bigger the hole the more pressure you're going to get okay so however you want to set it up you can make this whole thing out of pvc pipe however you set things up and i'll show you some other ways you can set it up to connect systems together but the reason why we go with this one is because it's a little bit better pressure and i like this valve right here of turning it on and off okay um there is another cheaper way you can do this so these are the pieces you need here this is kind of your groove end here and it's smooth this is a two inch piece because that's what my uh little hole over there is and what you need is this little adapter, this goes it down to a uh, three quarters, a two inch to a three quarters. And you stick that in there. And that's what you can put your, your little spigot in there. Okay. And that's what this one was. Um, a way you can make this even a little bit cheaper is getting, which you need this piece for this setup. But you can actually get this piece and stick it on there like that. And that's what your hose goes into. Um, so this setup right here is going to be I'm trying to think here. I think this was $5. So this is a little bit less. I think it's probably about $10, maybe a little less. I'm not exactly sure how much this worth, but it's definitely under $10. Um, and you're going to get better pressure with this one than you are with this. This is about the same price, but you got the shutoff valve, but you're going to get better pressure with this because as you can see here, it's just a straight open shot. Okay. And that's why this one here is better because it's straight open. It's the ball valve. And that's what you're wanting. With this one here, see, I don't know if you can really see in there, but the way this thing is designed, you know, it needs a lot of pressure because it comes in, it doesn't have a big a hole, and then it comes down. So it's hitting a wall and then coming down. So the pressure's not being, it's being, you know, kind of backed when it's a gravity fed system. Okay, so you're going to get better pressure with this cheaper version than this one. Okay, but you're not getting a shutoff valve. So if you're on a really tight budget, you can do it with this one. Okay, the reason why I'm going with this one, and it's a little bit more expensive, I know, but all this is metal. Okay, and the thing is with those totes, I've had those totes long enough, the plastic piece, because the way you turn this one off, you have that plastic piece that you saw previously to turn it on and off. And over time, trust me, those things, you can start pulling, pulling, and next thing you know, you snap it off. And then you're going to have a 
a difficult time getting in there and just trying to grab it and I just don't want to mess with that. I just want to turn that one thing on one time and don't have to mess with it unless I have to take this off so then I can turn it this way. I like messing with this valve here a lot more than something that's plastic that probably will break over time. I've seen it happen. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. I'm just causing as much or less headache later down the line okay with this system but that's the reason why we're going with this system all these other ones are perfectly fine you can do them it just all depends on your budget and before right before we get in this i'm going to show you another piece if you're wanting and we'll probably do this later is connecting multiples you got this piece here that goes into your uh tote and you can put off a t and then you can put off another one and you can connect all these down the line. So if you put a T right here that comes out, you can connect one pipe and then do the exact same thing on the next one. And you can put like four in a row and they'd all be on the same. And then on the end of one pipe, you can put one of these and you can still have a hose. But now you have four or however many you want connected. So if you want to do that, kind of like a little daisy chain, that's one way you can do it. But let's get into how you actually make these. All right, so your first piece here is gonna be the piece that connects to the tote with your grooves in it. And this is a, for me, it is a two inch, okay? And I believe this is schedule 40, if anyone's wondering, uh, it seems like it is. But, so what you're gonna need first is, you're gonna need a prime, get some PVC primer, prime the inside here. Then, you need uh, this piece here. This is gonna go into your two inch and go down to your three and a quarter for your hose. Okay, so you gotta prime this side. Now, since this isn't pressured, pressurized, I think technically you wouldn't have to do the whole, you know, uh, prime and then do the uh, little uh, concrete glue, but I want this thing to last. I don't want any leaks. I don't want to have to deal with this later down the line. So then get your PVC glue primer, sticker in there. Do the same thing with this, just a little bit. Like I said, this probably isn't necessary but I'm just gonna do it because I don't want any headaches later down the line for any reason. I'm just gonna do the work now. And then just stick this down in there. Press it down. Now I'm pretty sure that's pretty much all the way down, but put, the, put a little uh, cloth over it. I'm gonna hit it a little bit so you don't break your PVC. Just little hits. So it seats all the way down. Okay. And then I'm just kind of going to clean out the access that's on the inside. Now, just put that off to the side. That's got to dry a little bit. I don't think it takes very long, but I don't know the exact time. Just wait a couple hours. Like I said, it's not pressurized, so you probably could stick it on there right now. It wouldn't do anything. All right, so our next piece it's gonna be this piece right here. I think this is like galvanized. And what this is for is this sticks into this part right here. And this is what connects with the ball valve because this doesn't have the, the grooves like on the outside, the threads on the outside. So you have to get this one piece to stick it in here. And so what I'm gonna be doing is putting some uh, Teflon tape on both sides of it whenever we're connecting it. Whenever you're putting, if you never put Teflon tape on, you're going to, uh, there's a certain way of doing it. You do it clockwise. You don't want to do counterclockwise because when you stick the threads on there, it'll just peel the threads off whenever you're sticking it on. So make sure you're doing it clockwise. All right, so once you got your Teflon tape on there, then just start spinning it in here. And one thing, it's a little hard 
I mean, you got nothing to really grab onto. That's on there pretty good. Next step is just gonna be sticking the uh, rest of the Teflon tape on the other side, and uh, cause that's what goes into here. All right, I'm gonna stick this piece on first while that's kind of drying. So this is the piece that goes in the front and that's what hooks the hose to. This is kind of your hose adapter that sticks it in here. And I'm putting Teflon tape on this also so we don't have any leaks. All right, got the Teflon on there. And it's just, just like the other one. Screw it on there. And get your wrenches. All right, that's good. All right, so we're on, we're on one of our last steps. Uh, this, let that PVC uh, stuff dry. I like to just let it dry for a couple hours. I don't know the exact time. I just like to be safe and sorry. Um, just wait a couple hours, let it dry up, and then all you're gonna do, so you got this piece that we just made here, okay? And it's gonna look like this. Literally. You just stick this one in there and just and just turn both ends and just go until the tight as it can get. And you got yourself your spigot. And a really good one too. This is nice. It's all brass or you know, galvanized, I think it's steel. And uh it's gonna last a while and it's gonna be very durable. It's not gonna be like a plastic, you know. This is a good, I think, schedule 40. So I believe this is gonna last a lot longer than what that handle over there doing that way. But there's just one last thing that I'm gonna be doing and we're gonna be done with this uh, spigot build. Very last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some Teflon tape on here. I have put the spigots on there before and it does have maybe like just a drop, like every now and then it does leak a little bit. Honestly, it's not as much, it's not a lot, for, to worry about but I just I just want to uh, seal it up nice and tight All right, y'all, that's gonna kind of wrap up today's video. As you can see, it's pretty easy to make, doesn't cost too much, and you don't have to be a mad scientist to uh, you know, figure this out. But guys, I'm telling you, it makes things a lot easier having this type of valve, the especially a ball valve, if you can uh, get that. It just, it puts a lot more pressure, and it's gonna work a lot better for you. And having that hose on there, you can dip it in your bucket, I mean, you can do, a lot more than just that standard you know you can see just how much it flows out and it's all over the place i hope y'all like this video if you did hit that like button and as always subscribe to our uh channel and, and you know if you like this type of you know farming homesteading diy stuff you got any questions on the tote the you know the spigot that we made leave it down in the comments uh you know we did if you haven't seen our previous video on you know wrapping this and why we you know have it wrapped in black tape or the black plastic we did do a video on that uh, just go back and look at that but as always y'all take care and god bless you'll get it don't worry about it no matter how uh yeah, let, me, uh let me redo that you know hit that uh uh bell for notifications and <sighs> <laughs> I was getting there.